In my previous video, I showed you how to remove Windows and install Jorin OS. Now that you have got Jorin running, let's make it perfect for daily use. Today, I'm going to walk you through 15 essential steps that will transform your press installation into a fully optimized system. Whether you are completely new to Linux or just new to Jorin, I'll keep this simple and straightforward. Let's dive in. First thing first, updates. Your installation might be weeks or months old, so we need the latest security passes and features. Click the menu and search for software updater and launch it. It will scan for the updates automatically. Click install now when prompted. Or And if you prefer terminal, open terminal and type the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. You need to enter your password and hit Y when asked and let it complete. If you have an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, you'll want proper drivers for smooth performance and gaming. Open the menu and search for additional drivers. The tool will detect your hardware automatically. If proprietary drivers are available, select the recommended one, usually marked as tested and then click apply changes. This single step can dramatically improve your graphics performance and restart when it's done. Linux is secure by default but enabling the firewall adds an extra layer of protection. Open the terminal and type the command sudo ufw enable and that's it. ufw on complicated firewall is now protecting your system. You won't notice it running but it's quietly blocking unwanted connection. Now time to make Jorin feel like home. Open Jorin appearance from the menu. Start by picking your desktop layout, Windows style, Mac OS style or GNOME. This changes how your taskbar and menus work. So choose what feels natural. Next switch between light and dark theme. Dark mode is easier on the eyes at the night while Light mode works better in the bright environments. Right click on your desktop and select change background to pick a wallpaper you love. Jorin includes beautiful options or add your own photos. Finally customize your dock, right click any app icon and select add to favorites to pin it or add to dash to pin it. Remove apps you don't use by right clicking and selecting remove from favorites. Your most used apps should be one click away. For laptop users this is crucial. Open settings and navigate to power. Adjust screen timeout, automatic suspend and battery percentage display. Now let's install TLP for intelligent power management. So in the terminal run the command sudo apt install TLP. TLP runs in the background automatically optimizing battery life without you lifting a finger. No configuration needed it just works. Jorin comes with basics covered but you'll want to add apps specific to your needs. Open software from the menu. This is Jorin's app store. You can install your favorite office suite, LibreOffice, OnlyOffice or WPS Office. If you are looking for a different browser, install Chrome or Brave or Firefox. Need advanced photo editing? Grab GIMP. And for video editing, try Kden Live or OpenShot. Communication, Discord and Slack are here. Productivity, Notion, Obsidian or Joplin for Node. Source for what you need, click install and you're done. Think about the Windows app you relied on must have Linux versions or excellent alternatives waiting in the software store. Jorin settings are good but GNOME tweaks unlocks deeper customization. In the terminal, run the command sudo apt install GNOME tweak. Launch it from the menu. Now adjust fonts, enable window animations, customize the top bar and control startup applications. It's like Windows hidden settings but actually used. Fresh Linux installations can play some video and 
audio formats due to licensing. Let's fix that. On your terminal, run the command sudo app install ubuntu restricted extras. During the installation, you'll see a license agreement. Tap to OK and hit enter. This package adds support to MP3, MP4, DVD playback and Microsoft fonts. Now your media files will just work. Jorin supports Flatpak out of the box, a universal app format that gives you access to thousands of applications. To add the Flathub repository, simply run this command on your terminal and then restart the software app. You'll now see even more applications available. Flatpaks are sandboxed and stay updated independently from the system. Extensions add powerful features to your desktop. To install them, we'll use the GNOME extension website. First, install the browser connector and extension manager simply by running this command. And now open your browser and visit extensions.gnome.org. You'll see a prompt to install the browser extension. Click add to browser and install it. Let me show you a practical example. Uh, search for caffeine on the extensions website. Uh, click on it and then toggle the switch to on. Confirm the installation prompt. This simple extension prevents your screen from going to sleep. Perfect when watching videos or reading long articles. Once installed, open extension manager from your menu. You'll see all your extensions listed here. Find caffeine and toggle the switch to enable it. You'll see a coffee cup icon appear on your top bar. Click it whenever you want to prevent the sleep mode. The extension manager is your control center. Enable, disable or configure any extension from here. You can also browse and install extensions directly through it. Other popular extensions, desktop panel for a windows style taskbar, blur myself for aesthetic blur effects or clipboard indicator to access your clipboard history. Never lose your data again. Time shift creates snapshots of your system. Think time machine for your Linux. Install it if it's not already there. Open the terminal and type this command sudo apt install time shift. Now launch time shift. Select rsync as snapshot type. Choose your backup location and set up automatic daily or weekly snapshots. If something breaks, you can restore your entire system in minutes. This is your safety net. Reduce eye strain during evening use. Open settings and go to displays and enable night light. It automatically shifts your screen to warmer colors after sunset. Adjust the intensity to your preference. Your eyes will thank you during late night says. Tell Zorin which apps to use for different file types. Go to settings and then default applications. Set your preferred web browser, email client, music player and video player. Click on each category and select from the installed applications. Now when you open a link or media, it launches exactly what you want. Integrate your cloud services directly into the file manager. Go to settings and then online accounts. Add Google Drive, Nextcloud or OneDrive. Once connected, your cloud files appear in the file manager sidebar. No separate app needed. Drag and drop files just like local folders. It's seamless integration. Too many startup apps slow down boot time. Open GNOME Tweaks and then go to Start of Applications. Review the list and disable anything you don't need launching automatically. Be careful with system services, but feel free to disable apps like Spotify or Steam if you don't need them immediately. A clean startup means a faster and more responsive system. And that's all for today. If this video helped you out, Hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux content. Drop a comment if you have any questions or you want to share your Zorin setup. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.